Okay guys, welcome to another lesson in testing your business idea in five hours. This time, in a bonus lesson, we're gonna learn about SSL and why we might wanna consider it, especially when we're purchasing from Name Sheep. Okay, let's get right into it. So SSL means it pretty much allows you to secure your user's information. So think of it, you know, as a security feature. Now it will use encryption. So visitors almost always feel more comfortable buying from you when you have a secure site certificate displaying. And it uh, will also display whether the encryption and the, the features, the way it's securing the information is modern or outdated. Some websites actually tend to use an outdated SSL if they have not updated it to new security standards, which doesn't help their case and won't really help people buy from them because it looks broken. So what are the downsides to SSL then? If it helps us to build trust, then remember from our landing page principles, trust is one of the most important factors. So an SSL takes extra time to set up. You may need to even contact support to help you out with the process, especially if you're unfamiliar with how to set it up. Now, one of the upsides, of course, to Namesheep is that the support is uh, very, very helpful and will do most of the steps for you. Another downside is it costs more. You can get it around at $12 a year. That's about the minimum if you find a good sale. I bought, uh, I typically buy SSL certificates from Namesheep. They appear to have the best deals. Sometimes they even have $1.99 per year uh, special. If um, you purchase a domain and a hosting from them at the same time. But that's only the first year. So always read the terms that Namesheep provides. So let's look at some examples of SSL certificates in our browser. So even with Namesheep.com, they have to have an SSL certificate because they are a well-known company. So they have a business certificate. So even displays their name. Note that regular standard certificates only display the lock screen sign as well as the green HTTPS text. So if you have a business certificate, it'll say the identity has been verified and they use a modern cipher suit. Now, what happens when SSL goes wrong? Well, let's look at a scammy sounding site. You will get rich.com. There's no SSL. If you click on this um, blank tab right here, it'll say that, you know, the connection is not encrypted. You shouldn't enter your information and the identity has not been verified. Okay, that's SSL in a nutshell. I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.